Our second contestant, code H329, performing Fresh Off the Boat. I love this song. Oh, I, I got a new life. You can hardly recognize me. I'm so glad. Yo, Mom, Dad, this music sucks. Eddie, I know you're upset to leave your friends and family in D.C., but you're going to love Orlando, hmm? I've been there for six months setting up the restaurant, and I've grown to love it like the daughter we wish you were. <laughs> Yo, but like, why do we have to move, man? Because we are a family, okay? We stick together. Yes! Which is why we left all of our friends and family in Chinatown in D.C. to come here, hmm? Where we know nothing and nobody, and where the humidity is not good for my hair, and for what? So your father can own Cowboy Restaurant. It's called Cattleman's Ranch, and it's beautiful. Oh, I should have known. I saw that squirrel eat her babies on our wedding day. Mm. It was bad omen. <laughs> My mother immigrated here from the island nation of Taiwan off the coast of China when she was just 13 years old. Growing up, car rides like those were far too familiar to me. As a kid, I learned all of my cuss words watching my mom attempt to properly drive a car. <laughs> Some stereotypes are just true. <laughs> like how I have a really small tolerance for racism. However, the narrative for Asians in America are strikingly familiar. They tell the story of the struggle to find the line between belonging and remaining true to who we are. Performing stories such as these allow me to remind myself of who I am and where I come from. This is for my mom, who, like Jessica Huang, shows her son what it means to be unapologetically Chinese. Fresh Off the Boat by Nanachka Khan. Brrr, okay. <clears throat> Eddie, are you going to sit there or pick up a box and help? Okay, geez, fine, Mom. <sighs> hey, yo, Mom, is there like a Chinatown in Orlando? <sighs> oh, Eddie. You're looking at the Chinatown in Orlando, okay? <laughs> Hi, my name's Deirdre, that's Amanda, that's Samantha, that's Carol Joan. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Eddie, stay back, I might have to be in a fight. Hello. <laughs> ah, thank you. Uh, white woman, white woman, and white woman. Uh -huh. hmm. My name is Jessica. Oh, hello, Jessica. <gasps> I was expecting something more exotic, but I love that name. Hello, Jessica! <gasps> we had a sorority sister with that name, but she died in a horrific riptide accident. <sighs> we dedicated a section of the highway to her. It was so sad. Anywho, we've got to get going, but if you ever want to join us for our morning jog, just give us a holler, okay? Bye! Hmm. The loud ones seem to be their queen. 
Eddie, if you ever date girl like that, don't bring her home. Brrr, okay, family, who's hungry, hmm? Welcome to Cattleman's Ranch. Louis, where are all the customers? Well, we are technically still in our soft opening. Louis, there's hardly anyone here. Hmm? And that table over there, they only drink water. Hey, why you bitches not drink beer, hmm? <laughs> Lewis, fix this. Oh, 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 okay. I have an idea to bring in more customers. Okay, what? A white face to greet the guests. What? People come into cowboy restaurant, they see Chinese face, they go, huh? <laughs> they come in, they see white face, they go, Ah, <laughs> hello, white friend. <laughs> I am comfortable. Mm -hmm. Oh, Louis. Okay, Mr. White Man. Welcome to your first day on the job. Mm. Are you excited? Um, I'm not really sure that I'm comfortable doing or saying any of these things. Oh. It's just a commercial, hmm? You're Mr. Cattleman, you're going to be famous. Um, I'm not really sure that I wanna be famous. I owe like four people money. Okay, ready, and action. Aw, oh, jeez. Whenever my neck gets red from my white skin being in the sun all day. I like to come down to Cattleman's Ranch. Maybe meet my wife or my cousin. <laughs> or my cousin wife. Oh, jeez. What? Oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Come down to Cattleman's Ranch and feel comfortable among your own kind. <clears throat> and get an onion blossom for two ninety nine. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Tell them Cattleman Nick sends you. Yeah. Oh, and cut. Brilliant, Mitch. <laughs> Eddie, why you eat so fast, hmm? Slow down. I'm, I'm just hungry, Mom. Oh, oh, okay. You not eat the lunch that I pack for you? <laughs> yeah, I did, Mom. I'm just still hungry, okay? Oh, oh, okay. How you like the Xiao Long bar I pack for you? It was good, Mom. Liar! I know Peck Xiao Long Bar. <laughs> Tell me, Eddie, what happened? Okay, fine. I threw my lunch in the trash, okay? Yo, I don't want Chinese food anymore. I want white people food. <laughs> Eddie, you, you love my cooking. <laughs> Everyone loves Chinese food. No, Mom. Okay, they like orange chicken from Panda Express, yo. <laughs> They say my food stinks, man. Yo, I can't keep eating with the janitor for the rest of my life, Mom. Eddie. Okay, fine, tell me. What is this, uh, white people food? Brrr, oh, I have never seen store like this before. Yeah, Mom. This is where Lunchables live. <laughs> okay, Eddie, if you get lost, you find a nice white family, okay? <laughs> you will be safe there, okay? <laughs> Yo, this is nothing like those 
Taiwanese markets back in DC. Oh no, so beautiful yet also terrifying. Yo, mom, look. Everything fits so perfectly in this tiny box. I freaking love Lunchables. Brrr. Hey, what's that man you got? Turkey and cheese, nice. I got pizza. <laughs> I. Beep, 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 beep. Mm, hey. Microwave's mine. <laughs> Get to the back, chink. Yo, what did you just say to me? You wanna go? And then Mr. and Mrs. Huang, he slammed the other boy's arm into the microwave. <laughs> Eddie, you understand this is a very serious offense. Yes, we are very upset. Yo, mom. That you not defend Eddie. Wait, what? That boy call our son a chink, and you do nothing about it. Hmm? How come the other boy's parents not in here? How come you only call in Eddie? If you want to suspend Eddie for this, hmm? We sue the entire school. <laughs> yes! It's the American way, right? <laughs> well, Mr. and Mrs. Huang. Brrr, yo, Mom, Dad, I don't... Why did you guys do that for me? Eddie, we are a family, okay? We stick together. Eddie, I do not want you to be making waves. But I will never get mad at you for standing up for yourself, hmm? It takes courage not to run away when things get hard. That's right, it's harder to stay, but if we stick together, we can do anything. Maybe. Yes, of course. We stick together. <laughs> <laughs>